out of proxy. Alright. It's been asked for a while. Let me see if I can do my best to walk you through some process that I do in these ways. So for this, you're going to need offline. You're going to need Visual Studio Code with the node. You're going to need the calculator. All this is in Discord. You're going to need Notepad. You're going to want to open up your workspace. You're going to want a new file for a dump file. We've got tons of them. All right. So for starters, we're going to load up offline. Alright, so we're here in the offline mode. Let's uh I'm gonna try to make this as simple as possible. Um There we go. So we are going to use this shed. Oh, we got a barrel. Alright. So for starters, we need to find this building. Alright, say this is the building that you want to map. Right. It's the building I'm gonna map for this anyway. So the, we need to find this building's location. The easiest way I have found for me personally to do this: open up the pause file, and search for the X. There's not gonna be with so many things that have that exact X, and we're looking for W6 with 3974. That's it. Always take it out and move it to the top because that's the building I'm working with. But I also cut out all vanilla ones, or just in general, all of them. You might have extras from these new JSONs and such. So cut those out, make it easy on yourself later. Save the file. So now that's the only pause entry that exists on this map for this file pack, anyway. All the loot will concentrate to here. What do we do now? All right, we want to map uh, a couple of bags and some some stuff on this back wall. All right. Well, I don't map the building itself. Nope. I pop a fresh one in. I clone it. And we're gonna shed W6. Now we're going to map it. Let's put a couple bags. Um, most items of like items sit the same way, I guess you could say. So like this will sit the same as a dry bag. Put it to whatever height you want. It's easiest to start with the zero. Make sure it's flipped right. Sometimes I'll find to play some tricks on you. And then uh, get detailed, make sure it's not sticking out the back or something. I mean, you can. Anyway, firearms. Let's put a 101 right here. Well, 101's not going to work. We are on some vanilla files right now. I believe the SK will spawn in. Again, you can change your tiers and stuff. I just started with a fresh offline from the previous tutorial. So I start by zeroing out everything. Again, some things just line up. And let's put a coat. All right, we want to put a jacket. What type of jacket? Nice tan jacket. So, again, until you know what everything does, you're going to have to play with the stuff. And I need this to flip around 270 degrees. So, and then. on the wall you can get all detailed and such export that into your dump file all right. and then copy that you're gonna run that into your calculator again I showed how to do this in another video this will be a brief walkthrough you paste your export down here minus the junk this thing is gonna calculate the distance differences between this top coordinate and each item below it when it outputs the items, it's going to cut this building off. So you're mapping whatever that top one is. 
you're gonna come up here and you're gonna paste it you're gonna choose a path that way it knows which see if type is loop it's gonna make it for a proto proxy we need it the other way it'll spit out proto or a uh, proxy file so we're gonna save it open up a new one there's your proxy lines if you've seen any of the files that we have shared over here at the g-code you know that those go in a dispatch insert inside of this open and close and tag put your proxy lines All right. keep it clean now we mapped this building out here and we chose this location over here so we're gonna hit that restart and we didn't set a spawn point so we are going to fly right over here again alright cool deal let's go check up on it oh look at that we got a car right there woohoo Alright, like I said, we might have to play with some stuff. Things get a little janky. But there we go, we got a bag. Probably sticking out the backside. And we got a gun. You'll have to play with some little increments, some of the decimals. Like I said, it's just random loot here. So, uh, play with it, see what you can do. Again, um, what you do is you pop you in a building, like somewhere in the area, flat, doesn't matter, it's just gonna choose it regardless like the relation between the items just make sure it's flat and uh there you go that is how to practice